One of the best aspects of Spotfire is the fact that it actually has its own runtime for R built in. So you don't need to install uh, open source R or set up an R serve or anything like that. You can actually just open up Spotfire and start using your R scripts the way that you would normally use them. And so I've uh, to demonstrate that I've actually created a geofencing environment where I've got a bunch of points of interest in Florida and I have it set up so that if I were to click on one and have a, I have a radius set here in miles then I should be able to just draw a, a radius around that point of interest and show which other points are within a certain distance. Now you can actually see here that I've got an error popping up saying that one of the uh, packages that's necessary to draw this is not installed. So I have my Geosphere package here so, and I'm just going to need to install this into the Spotfire environment. Now to do that I'm going to find where it was installed and I'm running Spotfire desktop so um, you know it, that installs in your in the directory in your app data. So I can go ahead and put it in, go to Tibco, Spotfire Desktop, 6.5, Modules. Scroll to the bottom, you should find Tibco Enterprise Runtime for R. And in, in there, you should go to the engine, and within the engine, you go into the bin. And you'll find this tear.exe, which is Tibco Enterprise Runtime for R. And since I use R quite a bit, and I install these packages quite a bit, I'm just going to create a shortcut and put it on my desktop and rename it. Good. All right, and I'll run this as administrator just because I don't want to worry about any permissions issues. And I'm just going to install my packages. So install dot uh, packages. Oops, there we go. SP. And I'll do it from server 91. All right, good. And then I'll do the same thing, but I'll install Geosphere. All right, and that installed as well. And now I'll open up and clear my errors here. And when I click on something, this is now able to run the, the R script and come back with a table that I can connect the lines for to basically draw a circle around wherever I want. And then I'm also able to calculate the distance between my point of interest and all of the other ones to color code them. And you can actually see, if I add a new table here, and just drag it over to the side, there we go one of my tables is radius plot and that's really being populated by a data frame that is created every single time I change a parameter here or I click on something different then all of those parameters are being submitted to the runtime processing through that script and coming back with a data frame that is at one of the tables in my Spotfire environment. So I hope you found this useful um, definitely let me know what other types of things you'd like to see. Definitely please subscribe to the channel and um, I'll see you next time.